All right, so in unit 8.4, we are now going to introduce the attention mechanism going from recurrent neural networks to the transformer architecture. Yeah, while recurrent neural networks are an interesting concept and very useful for time series analysis, recurrent neural networks for text are now considered obsolete. So that's why we are not going to spend much more time on RNNs, except for explaining attention, which is the main aspect behind transformers. So to give you a little bit of a teaser why transformers are so popular, so transformers are nowadays used for most language translation apps. Or another example of a powerful transformer is the ChatGPT conversational chatbot, which you probably already heard about. But even beyond text problems, transformers can be super useful. For example, here's an example of the AlphaFold model, which was used successfully to predict protein structures which are very useful in computational biology and drug discovery projects. Now, all these large language models these days based on the transformer architecture go back to the original transformer architecture introduced in 2017. This architecture may look complicated at first, but we should actually recognize most of its components. So for example, in previous units, we already talked about the softmax activation function. Yeah, and we are also already familiar with linear or fully connected layers. And here feed forward is just a different word for multilayer perceptron, so multiple fully connected layers. And in the previous video, we just talked about input encoding, so that's also now a familiar concept. So really the only new concept here is this attention module. So what is this attention module and why do we need that? Let's actually introduce that in the next video, first in the context of RNNs, and then we will see how we can use it in transformer architectures.